Good morning. Teachers do a great job in their individual classrooms with their 30 kids. My impact is here with 550 kids. That's an awesome responsibility and I, I, I just I take that very serious. I think about that every day. How can I make this school healthier for kids? One of the most important things I do every day to maintain a healthy school is touch point clean throughout the day. We are very fortunate when Pat came over in the summer opening a new building. Uh, the timing was very nerve-wracking and so I was thrilled to hear Pat was coming over. I'd heard a lot about him by reputation and it was very um, reassuring to me to have shared leadership with him because I know he's proactive, he's got a lot of experience and wisdom and so I was beyond thrilled. I'm not just a custodian, I'm an educator. Every one of us in the, in the building is a teacher. We're all teacher educators. It's all about the kids. It's, if you ask any ESP or any teacher, that's why we're in the job. We aren't here for the money, we aren't here for the high status. When we designed this school, we take into account what we are as a staff, which really is a family and a community, and so we wanted that to be um, represented in the building. And Pat's been an integral part of that, uh, officially and unofficially, building relationships with kids, um, helping staff learn environmental impacts of what we do um, in a variety of ways. This school was designed with health in mind. Each of these units here controls the heat and ventilation to individual classrooms. We do that so the germs cannot be shared from classroom to classroom. Here's Fang. Fang's an extrovert. He just loves to talk to kids. The kids really did identify with Fang. And I began to use Fang to actually tell kids, get my message across to kids. Uh, Fang's message was, uh, pick up your stuff. And then when we had flu season, I put up a sign with Fang Fang with a, one of those masks on, particular mask on, saying, uh, be sure to cover your mouth when you cough and wash your hands a lot. Mr. Pat is the nicest teacher in the school because he's funny, he's nice, and he's friendly to be around, and he makes me smile, and he, he makes me laugh. we are educating the whole child. And there are some things that have to be addressed and needs that are met before any academic learning can, can be reached at all. And we can only meet those needs by relationships. Um, and Pat's great with that. He's out and about. He is in the lunchroom getting to know kids. You ask any bus driver, you ask any custodian, and they'll tell you that they're there because they like kids. I want to make every school a pristine palace of learning. I want to have every kid have the opportunity to be in a school like this.